Hello, my Solar Size family. It's good to be here. Thank you for joining us. I want to take a moment to say thank you for all those who have been encouraging each other on the Solar Size. We've had some great reports and you are making a difference, a big difference in, in the lives of, of many people. We've had some challenges, people that have had issues with uh, depression, issues with challenges in their life, and your support has made a difference in their life. So thank you. People that have depression, people that have chemical imbalances, people that are, are struggling with, with challenges emotionally as well as physically, getting on the Cellarcizer and moving up and down helps to promote physical balance as well as chemical balance and emotional balance. We've had numerous instances of people that when they get on the Cellarcizer and they've been on there for a few minutes, they just feel different. Well, there's a lot of reasons for that people that have post-traumatic stress disorders, people that have ADD, ADHD, um, those issues are mitigated through the movement up and down on the Cellarcizer. There's a great many additional benefits as well, but keep in mind as we're moving up and down, we're opening up circulation to the brain, we're stimulating the thyroid, the adrenals, the endocrine system, liver, kidney, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, all those internal organs are gently being massaged over 100 times a minute. The movement up and down helps to move fluid, making it easier on the heart to move that fluid through the one-way valves, opening up blood vessels, increasing oxygen and blood flow to different areas and parts and functions of the body. So again, thank you really um, for making a difference and for believing in what we are doing and for enjoying the solar sizer. There's no better piece of equipment out there in the market. I know that and I, I believe it. But I wanted to read a few uh, customer reviews that we received and and want to thank those who are continually making a difference and sending us some of these because you really don't know I wish you did um, how many people you touch as a result of it but this one is um, from Laura thank you Laura thank you Dave Hall and Christine Hanks I've rebounded on other trampolines some benefits came from that but not what I wanted have rebounded on the solar sizer off and on for about a year Saw results, but not dramatic, and would kind of let it slide and stop doing it. Be because of this group, I really committed to six months. I knew my gut, in my gut this was right. I just knew it. But would quit early because I, did, I didn't get my drama results. I decided to commit to six months. I knew I needed to get past my mental roadblocks and allow my body to find the right course for itself and not focus on the results I wanted. The first two months were painful. I gained weight in inches. Honestly, I think it was just muscle over the fat. I hung in there, trusting Dave when he said to work out on the solar sizer and it would work on you, that it couldn't do anything else. So I hung in there now. Now, four months in, I have lost 10 pounds that I set out to lose and have lost 80% of my cellulite, feeling pretty darn happy, thinking about doing the jamba run every other day now. But I, I don't know, still want to keep that success going. Just checking in because all of your success stories on here and Dave's lives are really what inspired me to commit to push through my doubts the first two months. Thank you everyone. Also, which I had taken some time before and after shots of my rear. I did not. And you few brave folks who did were my heroes. Still might because I have more strength to gain and more improvements to come. By the way, I did not change my diet. I'm kind of stubborn and wanted to see if the solar sizer would work on me even while eating pizza and taking my kids to the state fair and enjoying family movie night with buttered popcorn. I didn't give any of that up. I'm sure I would have gotten quicker results if I had, but I didn't want to. However, I do find I am more aware in choosing to make better choices with my food because of the positive results solar sizing has given me. So thank you everybody. Can't wait to see what the next few months bring. I'm not sure I read that before or not, but it, it sounds really familiar. And thank you, Laura. Hi, guys. I'm a Cellar Sizer user since August 12th. Have been Cellar Sizing one day short of one month, and I am super excited about the improvements in the way I feel, the strength, the stamina, <clears throat> energy levels, better posture, less aches and pains, better mood, etc. I'm very excited also on what is to come because I'm still going slow and giving it time for the whole body to adjust and strengthen. I have a quick question. Is there a YouTube video or a video that shows Dave's full routine? I've been doing some simple moves for five to six minutes in the morning and then 10 minutes in the afternoon. It would be great to get the whole 10 to 12 minutes that Dave follows. We all want to look like him. Thank you. <laughs> no, I want you to look better than me. All right. 
Well, that's great because what I do, and I teach it on the DVD. I explain what I do in my 10 minute a day routine. So if you review the DVD, you can actually see what I do. Now you can recreate my program and add to it or take it away or take away from it because everybody's in a little different level or different position. And I want, that's the whole reason, the motivation behind the Mr. Rebounder app. It was designed to give you control over what you want to accomplish in a, a methodology in a way that, that is safe and effective. And the Subtle Sizer provides that. The Mr. Rebounder app has over 35 different pre-made routines that you can follow from beginning to advance or to create your own. So what we're gonna do right now, and Christine, thank you for handling the camera. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Christine. Um, what we're gonna do is I'm going to take you through the Mr. Rebounder app on my iPad here. The Android version works pretty much the same way. It's set up just a little differently, but this, this should help. So this is what the app looks like when you download it through uh, our website or through our Apple rather, iOS, Apple, Apple Store, or the, the Google Store, Google Play. So you load the app up once it's loaded up and you have your subscription. We've got beginner, intermediate, advanced, senior, create your own. If we take a look at the beginner, you're gonna see that you've got nine different routines available and they range anything from very simple, such as just doing the health balance um, to more advanced movements as, as you get going. And I'll turn that music up, but that's just basic, the beginning. When you're done, you wanna go back um, you can go to intermediate, advanced, senior. What I'd like to do is I'm going to take some time and, and show you how, how to set this up. So if you go over here, you see profile in the bottom right, that profile button. If you hit that, you can come up here and put information in about yourself, where, you're, where you are right now. You can also pick the gender of the avatar. So if you want a male or a female gender, you can pick female. And um, you saw the male, so I'll, I'll hold on to the female right now. And you can pick your skill level as well. And then you save, you have your little save button up here, and it will tell you when it's saved, it's saved. And you can come back out, that's in your profile. Now, when you go to the home screen, and let's pick advanced, for example and I'm gonna pick the fourth routine. Now you see there's a lot more movements that have been added to that exercise routine, and this is 13, this is a 13 minute routine. It starts off, you can, well, you look at the options up here. You can pick your background image, depending on the mood that you're in. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and go back to that again. I hit. Background image. All right. I'm going to pick that one right there. And we'll save it. And then you'll notice that... Let's go back to that. Let's go back to the profile. Let's go. Okay. Mm, go back to home. Okay. So we're going to go to the fourth routine. And we're going to go to options. And on the options, you see that it has five seconds in between each movement on the screen. And what that means is if you go to start, now we got the female avatar, and it starts to move, starts to go through its routine. And we're gonna change the music in a moment too. Okay, so if I advance, I go to the next movement, it's got a count of five seconds before it actually starts the next movement. Well, for some people, that's, that's great. For me, I don't like to wait that long between movements. So I'm gonna go back to the option, or back to the workout, go back to the option window, and right here I'm gonna hit the minus. So I'm gonna put one second in between each movement. And you can do the same thing on the Android version. 
and you save it. And changes are saved, okay. If I want to go back and change the music, you've got country, you've got electronic, you've got Latino, you've got pop, you've got rock. So you can pick what, whatever, which one you want. Uh, let's pick cheerful country pop. And I'm going to save it. Changes are saved. Now, if you want to know which any of these, what these movements do, if you go over here on the right, you can click. It will show you what the movement is, and it will explain what the movement works on and, and how that, that affects the body. Um, same thing with you know, all the various different movements. If you want to see how she's positioned or go upside down, get the general idea. All right. So we're going to start with this one, and I'm going to just kind of take you through it a little bit. So um, this is a gentle, obviously, the health of baby bounce. It counts down right up here in the right-hand corner. If you want to see well, how she's positioned, now you can play around, hit the reset button, comes back. I'm just going to go through each of the movements. Now you see there's only one second in between the movements. And this, of course, is opening up bronchial tubes in the lungs and pumping the lymph system up in the upper chest cavity. We don't do very many of those. I set it for six the first time. Gentle twist. And it'll go on. You can, you can control. Well, let's, let's finish going through it. All right. And that's kicking out side to side, back, the sit and bounce. Hmm. And on that sit and bounce, we have a movement where you can stand to sit. So, and I'll show that to you in a moment because we're gonna, we're gonna add that to, to this routine as well. The whippy ski patrol, the shoulders move up and down. Are you working the hips, the thighs, and the knees? Kicking back again. So you can do any number of different routines or movements, and that's under your control. So when you're done, you'll end up with the health or baby bounce. Congratulations, you rock. And it actually goes into your little award section of your routine. And under awards or achievements, it will take a grayed out movement and actually color it. So you can actually see how many times you've been exercising that particular week. So we'll go back to home. Now, we also have an option where you can clone. You can pick a particular routine, hit the clone template. These are all the movements, and now you can edit the movements. You can take movements out, or you can add additional movements in. If you want to add movements, it will take you to the movement library. This is also under the create your own section. And in the movement library, it shows you the various different movements. And again, if you want to know, you know what it is, you just go and you take a look. And When you're cloning it, it tells you how many times you're actually doing those movements. So I'm going to go back to the home button again. I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to go to create your own workout. So under create your own workout, you can add movements, and when you do that, say for example, I want to add the, the baby of the health bounce, you have it set up in 30 second intervals right now. So you can do it for 30 seconds, or you can hit it and, and do the, uh, the health or baby bounce up you know, to a minute, which is a nice warm up. And then you add to the workout, and you say, okay, takes you back to the screen for your next movement. So after that, let's say you want to do the, the hip rock, which is a nice warm up as well. And you put that down, say you want to keep it for 30 seconds, you add that to the workout. You say, okay, great. Well, when you're done with your whole routine, what you want to accomplish, it adds it up. And then from this library, you hit the back button and it will show you the different movements that you have in that particular routine. 
Then up here, you create a description of the movement, and then you can replace the image by going to your photo library and, and putting your own, your own routine in there. So I've created one just a little while ago under the Create Your Workout, and I'm gonna cancel out of here, and I'm gonna to go to My Workouts, which is in the bottom. You go to My Workouts, and I did have it, but it was saved to, I know it's on Android, because I saw it on the Android version. Um, but you actually save the routine, and you can actually add your own. In fact, let me get the Android real quick. And I'm not as familiar with Android, but we go to Google Play, it's been added. And if I go to Create Workout, oh, oh let's go back to My Workouts. Yes. And My Library is right up here. So on the Android version, your library of movements or routines are going to be right in there. And that's the routine that I, that I created. And in this routine, <laughs> in this routine um, I actually have the uh, sit to stand. So I want to show you what that looks like. And so we're going to fast forward. Are they able to see this OK? Yep. All right, great. So And I changed this to um, so that it doesn't have five seconds in between each movement. And there, there's the sit and stand to sit. So you're going to stand to sit, and then you're going to do your next routine. And then it sits us in. So it, it's designed to help you develop a program, a routine that is intense. Now, if you look at some of these, if you go, for ex example, to let's go back to home. If you go to advanced and you look at, say, for example, the sixth routine. Okay, that's for 10 minutes. And and. 10, point, 10 minutes, 17 seconds. You go to the seventh routine, seven minutes, 46 seconds. You say, well, how come it went from something that was bigger to something that was less? It's because of the intensity. This one here, you're doing several of the Jamba Run. And the Jamba Run is, um, is going to be a lot more intense. And so in those seven minutes, you're going to be increasing your metabolic processes, your heart rate, and your intensity. Um, over some of the other different movements. So that is the beginning. We've got several other things that we are going to be doing with this app. But uh, if you have any questions, feel free to, we've got a, um, a section in here where you can actually write the questions to us or give us a call. Let us know your feedback. There's a few small issues that we're going to be upgrading uh, to make it better. Uh, for example, when you're custom or creating or cloning an exercise routine and you want to change or put a different movement in it, right now you pretty much have to start from scratch. We're going to have it so that you can drag one movement up into um, and to replace or put it in the position that you want in the routine. Um, there's some other ideas that keep coming in. I want to encourage you to keep sharing them with us. Uh, we're going to, for example, when the music is playing, we're working on developing a uh, program where, or a button where you can silence the music so you can play your own music. And, but we want the beat to continue so you can recognize when it's time to do a different movement. This app and this program and what we have planned and, and what you're going to be able to achieve with this is exciting. So don't overdo it. Uh, we've got most all the different movements in the create your own area. Uh, you can clone again your exercise routine and then go and add or take away movements so that you can customize it to, to fit what your goals and objectives are. If you're working with a trainer or a doctor or a health practitioner, there's other movements that we're going to be creating as well 
that can be added to the program that will address specific issues and also. So feel free to share with others. Um, let us know what your, your, your feedback is and thank you for your patience. It's been a long time in coming. We had to do a lot of changes in order to make this um, work where it is right now and those changes will be ongoing. So again, thank you for your support. Uh, that's it for tonight. Oh, hold on. Christine, oh, questions? We have, questions? we have some questions. Okay. And I think they're kind of hoping maybe you'll do a routine with them. A routine if you with them? Have time to put a quick one together that's even five minutes and do on, it with on, them. On the mm -hmm. app? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we, do you want to do the questions and then do yeah, that as your, round, your, tie, your tie up at the end? We can do that. I'm glad I didn't. Uh, this is why we don't have a holder for iPads, they move around too much. But for iPhones are great. Um, but I can ask you some of these questions and then we can do that with them. That sounds good. I don't know what my iPhone holder is though. Let's go ahead and ask the questions. Okay. Yeah. All right. So they have the Android and it hasn't worked well. What do they need to do to get it oh, working? Oh, okay. Um, the Android, we rewrote it. We basically had to, to start over again. And that, it's a long story, but just remove the old one and um, reinstall the new one. You should be able to log in the same as before. Unfortunately, if you have saved routines, copy your saved routines first or know what they are. Because when you reload the new app, the saved routines may not be there. It depends on when the transition took place between the old server and the new server. So. Okay. Can a seller sizer help with a teenager's anxiety and depression? Oh, if so, what are the moves? What moves are yeah. the best for them to do? You know, there's so much. Um, you can get on the seller sizer, and you want to start off just like a baby does. Don't even think. Just, just get on. Just start to move up and down. Give yourself about 30 seconds or a minute of just doing this, and then start making decisions about how you want to feel or what you want to accomplish or seeing yourself becoming the kind of person you want to be and then proclaiming it and saying it out loud and say every day in every way whether you feel it or not doesn't matter to begin with every day in every way i'm feeling better and better um, every day in every way my body is losing weight every day in every way i am adjusting my diet so it's helping me, it's working with me and for me. Every day in every way, I'm liking the things that I need to do more and more. Whatever the case may be, visualize the end result. So every day in every way, I am happier and happier. I'm feeling better and better. Say that to yourself, visualize it, and then say it with, with emotion. Your body reacts to your emotions. It reacts and responds to how um, you portray your feelings. It's not subjective, it, it, you it will just adapt to what you say. So, I am feeling great. My life is so exciting. I have an opportunity to, to work with and help more and more people every day and I'm grateful for that. Can you feel that? That's powerful. So, whatever it is, whatever situation you're in, whatever your goals and objectives are, bounce up and down and say it. You're not fooling your body, you're training your body. And as you are training the body to feel the way that you have your, you have such a great health potential, physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, that um, feel good every day in every way. I'm feeling better and better. Say it, say it with feeling. And then as you're bouncing, this movement right here releases the stress and tensions, opens up the circulation, stimulates the brain activity, um, digestion elimination has a lot to do with our overall well-being and health. This gentle twisting motion here to help loosen up the lower back, but also help improve digestion elimination, oxygenating the body, just doing half a dozen of the breathing techniques, or you're moving up and down going And that opens up everything, opens up the larynx, opens up the, the bronchial tubes and the lungs. You'll be a little wheezy probably when you first begin, don't overdo it. But that increases the oxygen in the bloodstream. That increased oxygen helps body functions work more efficiently as well. So those are some good, good techniques.
Okay. <coughs> I found out I have degenerative disc disease right after I got my cellar sizer because you said it doesn't jar you like the cheap ones. I bought it even though I have back pain. Now I have a 400 plus rebounder sitting in my living room. Now what am I supposed to do with it? Oh, that's a good question. I'm glad you <laughs> asked. You know, if we have health conditions like, <coughs> excuse me, and the breathing techniques clears things out too. It, um, if we don't do something to increase circulation, stimulation, and promote healing, then often we resign ourselves to getting worse and worse and worse. So it's important that we have movement. It's important that we consult with a doctor if you have a health issue. But some of the movements that I train and teach doctors are involved real simple movements where you're on the mat the whole time. Your feet never leave the mat, but they're very effective. There's less jarring on a cellar size than there is walking on the ground. So as long as you can walk, you can walk, you can stand on a cellar sizer, spread the feet apart a little bit, and just start off, I always start off with a baby bounce, health bounce. This gentle, you can do it lifting your heels up and down or bending up and down at the knee, just slightly like this. You're working the knee a little bit more here. Here you're working the calf muscles a little bit more. Both of them have a lot to do with improving circulation in the lower extremities. But the movement up and down warms up the tissue. So all the tissue throughout your entire body is gently being massaged, as well as the lymphatic system, which holds a negative pressure, is causing suction. So as you're gently moving up and down, millions of one-way valves start sucking that circulation through the bones, joints, and the tissue space of the body. It's the vacuum system of the body, but it's also the wake-up call. It's warming up the body. So as we've done this for, you know, two, three minutes, which is a good technique or routine, then spreading the feet apart, holding them in the same position, bending at the knee slightly, and rocking left to right. Now you're working the hip. As you're working the hip, the hips are gently dropping into the mat of the springs, with the springs. As the hips drop into the mat, the lower lumbar can create more movement. The increase of movement can help release stress, tension, improve circulation. We have to improve the circulation to help regenerate the disc. Now remember, degenerative discs are often caused from weaknesses or injury in the supporting muscles and ligaments or lack of circulation to the disc. Now the discs are like a sponge. We've talked about this. When a sponge doesn't get water, it degenerates, it, it shrinks. We get more pressure on the nerves and less flexibility in the back. When we feed more water into a sponge that's dried out, it starts to expand again. Disc can do the same thing. It's called imbibition or imbibing the disc with synovial fluid. That increase of circulation to the disc can help those discs expand again. But we need, we need circulation. So this movement here is, remember, we're activating the lymphatic system, which is pulling circulation between bones, joints, and tissue spaces. And this movement here is helping to loosen up and increase circulation to those discs while we loosen up the stress or tension in the back and the muscles too. Very gentle. Can't do that on the ground. The cellar size is what makes it work. Lifting the heels up and down and doing a gentle twist can take those hips and the vertebrae after we've opened them up some and actually increase more circulation as we loosen up those, those muscles. And this is one of the ones I teach. It's a phenomenal routine for improving digestion, elimination. It also helps to massage the liver, kidney, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, adrenals. So all those internal organs are moving up and down as we're getting a gentle massage. So those are simple movements. Um, walking in place is a great one for building up the thighs and the knees. And as the thighs and knees get firmer and stronger, um, that will affect everything that we do. Walking, going up and down stairs, just having better control of, of our legs as, as well. Anything else, Christine? Yes. Okay. Okay. What is the longest amount of time you should spend on the rebounder with a hard workout? I use videos from YouTube and wonder if that might be overdoing it. I feel good, by the way. Lots of sweat. Well, um, that's one of the neat things about cellar size is it's so much easier on the heart than many typical aerobic impact type sports because it's pumping with the heart, but you're not getting a jarring 
um, and, you know, abrupt, jarring effect on the body. So you can, you can exercise for a, a, a longer period of time on a solar sizer and have fun. Now, we've had people that will watch a movie bouncing them down on a solar sizer. The one thing you have to be careful of is when you begin because there's a detox effect that can take place and really does. You want to drink lots of water because as you're moving up and down, you're freeing heavy metals, toxins, poisons, fat cells are releasing. I mean, you want to flush that out. If you've had been on drugs or chemicals um, over the years, this is a good way to help flush, flush the body out. And we have stories of people that didn't follow that, that uh, advice. Drink lots of water. Um, it makes it easier for the body to remove those poisons, if you will, without them just going into deposit somewhere else in the body. So once you get to the point where you, you're feeling pretty good, uh, your body's adapted. You know, I used to solar size for two and a half days straight. And the only thing it did to me was burn too much weight. Um, but I was, I was in better shape than people standing around on a cement floor at these trade shows all day long. I'm bouncing around all day long. And they said they got tired of watching me. They'd go sit down. I'm like, but I was energized. Solar size energizes the body, burns a lot of calories, or it can, but it energizes. All right, how does a solar sizer help with inflamed ankles? Oh, again, same thing. Um, the ankles, and I've, <laughs> I, I've been through a lot. Both my ankles have been broken. This one was pinned. Um, they were broken in two places. Uh, Doctor said I'd never be able to use them the same way. They didn't know about cellular size. Cellular size helps bones, muscles, and ligaments move and redeposit to support your natural alignment over time. It's been absolutely phenomenal what it's done for me. But spreading the, the feet apart, bending the knees slightly, and again, it's a medical question, so consult or ask your doctor or have your doctor call me. But you can suggest or share some of these ideas with him. Spreading the feet apart a little bit, rocking side to side has very little ankle movement in it, but it has movement. And so as we're creating some movement, we're starting to loosen up, massage and loosen up some of the tissue, muscles, and ligaments. This is the first step. Second step is to take those ankles and just gently lift the heels up and down. Now you're working the ankle. As you hold your feet straight ahead, your knees are pretty much kind of over your feet, pushing out a little bit. You're helping those muscles, bones, and ligaments support your natural alignment. And they can move to do that. So lifting those heels up and down, that is working the ankle area as well as underneath the foot and all those supporting muscles and ligaments as well. Very gentle, but very effective. Standing on the side of the cellar sizer eventually and stepping side to side is gonna work the lateral both sides of the ankle and both sides of the knee. Um, if you want to work the hips, put your feet together. And this is a great exercise routine as well. So, yeah, those are, those are good movements. Cellular size will help challenge the ankle and the muscles and ligaments a little bit more because as you move, your foot wants to move and adapt to your alignment and movement, not to the alignment or movement of a shoe. Now, on the Mr. Rebounder app, it shows them wearing a shoe. I didn't catch that. I don't wear shoes. I, I recommend barefoot, soft-soled slippers, socks, if you, if you like to move around a little bit, which is what I do. Um, but I don't recommend wearing shoes. So we'll, we'll fix that in a future version as well. Okay. My friend's left hip twists backward, and she has to get it put back into place every month or so with a chiropractor. What routine could help her support keeping the hip in place? For the hip, yep. This is why we get a lot of chiropractors. Chiropractors will make adjustments, but the muscles and ligaments are not used to the new alignment. So we get a lot. We have a lot of chiropractors. I love them. I love the work they do. And they appreciate what I've done. And I appreciate that too. But when you make an adjustment, the muscles are not used to the new alignment. And doctors don't have a lot of time to really work and manipulate the muscles and the ligaments so that they become stronger in holding the alignment in its, uh, you know, a better position. So the chiropractors we work with, when appropriate, they will have their patient get on the cellar sizer right after an adjustment 
and gently move up and down so that the structural the structure of the body remains in the same position but the muscles are flexing around the new alignment and as the muscles that are tighter on one side start to loosen and muscles that are looser start to tighten it expedites the healing process I don't even know the number of times it's been many many times where we will have a patient call us up and say that their doctor has noticed since they've cellulosized that they are holding their their alignment much better and we end up working with the doctors now there are several movements that I teach specifically for chiropractors and those um, if you're a chiropractor please give me a call I'd love to share some of them with you they're very effective and that you can determine whether or not it's going to be something that you can share with uh, with your patient but that's uh, yeah just moving up and down hips right here this is working the hips if you are moving side to side the the muscles are going to start to move and stretch and tighten to, you're not favoring one side of the body over the other when you cellulose. you're putting the same amount of weight on the right and left hemisphere of your body you're challenging the muscles in a balanced state that's one of the reasons people have so much more strength when I do the strength and balance test is because the entire fascia and, and structural material is being held more effectively because of that those protein fibers and that's what solar size steps okay you can also take your ankles and keep your waist straight ahead and just twist in the hip socket area so there's not as much movement in the hip but this one helps to free the joint where people have sciatic issues and, and uh, other hip, hip problems. So someone had asked something <coughs> similar where they, every once in a while they feel their hip give out. Those are the same exercises that would help them with that? Yeah, yeah, okay. these, these gentle movements. I mean, again, you, you, you build up to it. But as you get stronger, and you'll be able to do more, and those muscles will get stronger in that area as well. Okay. All right, what's the best exercise to increase increase muscles in your hamstrings muscles in the hamstring mm -hmm. I do the basic 10 minute routine but my quads are more developed than my hamstrings okay um, lifting the <laughs> lifting the heels up and down is going to have some effect kicking the legs out behind you is going to work those hamstrings as well um, All, all of that is lower extremity. All of those movements are going to be working on the thighs, the calf muscles, the hamstrings, all the way up and down. Okay. I have soft tissue damage in my lower back and neck from a car accident, but nothing showed up on the x-ray. Is it okay to at least do the baby bounce? Again, medical question. Right. I appreciate your asking it. I have to say consult with your doctor health practitioner here are some movements that I would teach your doctor it is taking the fingers putting them around the vertebral joints to support the the head a little bit right underneath the where the atlas is or where the skull attaches there and while gently moving up and down we can do little circular movements to push circulation between the vertebral joints and I've gone over an actual routine on the neck that is on a, a previous uh, Facebook live program that we did so it will show you additional techniques that you can do or, or share with your doctor as well okay yeah I'm told that rebounding is not a wise choice of activity if you have osteoporosis which I do in my <laughs> spine if you could respond and also provide specific actions to avoid or include Wow okay bones need weight bearing activities to cause the bones to utilize the mineral content within the body or what we call osteoblastic activity the movements on a cellar sizer is all weight bearing but not jarring now if they're talking about a typical rebound or mini trampoline that could very well be true the cellar sizer is not in any way typical you're not jumping up and down really really high you aren't you don't need to um, you have plenty of movement 
without an abrupt stop or jar because of our tridaptable spring. That's our patented spring design. So whether you're 30 pounds or 300 pounds, you're gonna get the support you need based upon how much you weigh or how high you're jumping, or what kind of movements you do. So you have great support. Walking on a cellar size, or this is still weight bearing, but again, without jar, lifting the heels up and down. We have got some, check out our customer reviews page, sellersize.com forward slash customer reviews on, um, on bone, bone density and uh, um, osteoporosis. We've had some incredible reviews on that. Isn't that the T1 score that you've talked about? Yep, that that's that's one of them, you bet. Okay, mm -hmm. all righty. Let me just make sure, okay. I've had my salicizer for a while and I'm feeling discouraged. I've had pain in the heels that I never had before. When I stopped junk it, jumping, it took three weeks to go away. I'm afraid this is going to be a waste of my money. Chiropractor said stop jumping and never heard of cellar size. I told him he should look into it. Sure, good I'm for not you. <laughs> <laughs> looking for medical advice, but wondering if anybody else has experienced this. And this was actually asked mm -hmm. out on the cellar size page. Good. Um, and good. did it go away? And many people had said, please, Slow down. Yeah. <laughs> but well, well that's exactly what I would ask is what are you doing? What are you doing on a cellar sizer? Because cellar size, it's, it's far, far more intense than people give it credit for. Remember that you have G forces working on your whole body collectively, not parts at a time, the whole body all at the same time. You're not lifting weight away from gravity. You're increasing the weight of gravity and it's not limited. So one of the good benefits of solar size is that it helps to expose weaknesses. I don't believe your heel spurs were caused by the solar sizer, but, or I, whether they're heel spurs or, or not, whatever the heel I issue is, but the solar sizer probably exposed something that might be a weakness. Generally what we do over time with most of those weaknesses, we, we work through them. So rocking side to side, lifting the heels up and down, increasing circulation, it can take time. It took me two years to build up my back. When I was in my early 30s, I was rolling out of bed sideways a number of times per month because when I was in high school, I was a pole holder. And I was pretty good, but there are times where I'd miss the pit, <laughs> even when you're good. And you get you know, 13, 14, 15 feet in the air and you come landing on the ground, it hurts. And one time I knocked a standard over and landed on this great big standard on my back and that wiped me out for a long time. I never went to a chiropractor. I don't know what the damage was, but, but I had some back issues. And it, after about two years, I, and I, I've shared this story a number of times, my dad saw me, and I'd been on a cellar sizer now for quite a period of time. And his first comment to me was, boy, you look taller. And he looked shorter, and I'm like, well, my kids have been arguing about who had been taller. And I, um, we were measuring them, and I said, well, why don't you measure me too? Because people had said this, you look taller. And I, my wife got the little book, put it on top of my head, and she says, 5'11 and a half. I said, no. <laughs> I'm five, ten and a half. She's shorter than I am, so I figured she just wasn't doing it right. So I, I since had it, um, three doctors and an attorney and an attorney measure me, and I was five eleven and a quarter. That's three quarters of an inch taller than I'd ever been. I didn't th think you could grow in your forties, but I teach people that, and I've had other people who sell their size tell me the same thing. A gentleman who was six two had shrunk to six one, started cell sizing was back up to 6'2 again. So, but it took me two years of cellar sizing before I know that those benefits had taken place. And now the back feels great. I don't have those issues. I'm so grateful, thank you. I know the cellar sizer has made the difference and the different techniques and routines that I teach, I do myself for the same reason. So yeah, it, it, can, it can help with the back. We just there's again specific movements that I teach to open up the vertebral joints in the back and gently move up and down work the lower back by just crossing the foot a little bit and then we do the same thing on the other side tilt until we feel some stretch don't overstretch you don't need to and then just move the foot and 
did a twist, and there's all these movements. And it's interesting because when you, you look at dogs and animals, they get on their back and they, they do all this contorting and rolling around. And I'm sure that has a lot to do with how, whether it's instinctive or not, how it improves the overall back. So the, I'm not saying get on your back and wiggle around like a dog, but that might be all right. But this movement here just... It may look a little weird, but it's dropping the hips and shoulders and creating the movement to help increase circulation, opening up the vertebral joints in the back. So lots of different things we can do on it and very gentle. Okay, do you want to do a quick five minute, put a few things on there and well, we run can, the routine real so really quick? They would love that. Why don't we do that next time? Let's do a routine. We'll, we'll take it through and do it. Um, and then I'll, I'll find where my holder is, my stand. Okay. And we can have the stand and, and Okay, and since do we that. don't have the stand today, that will be yeah. hard for you. Yeah, I don't want to hold it and do it because it okay. wouldn't work very well. Okay, so next week, be ready to go. We're going to put that online. Sure, okay. we'll do it. Good, Alrighty. we'll all pick the same routine. We can do it together. Right. All right, okay. sounds good. Thank you very much. Have a great week. And feel free to please share this with as many people. Everybody knows someone probably that has back problems, knee problems, hip problems, digestion, elimination problems, weight issues, um, circulation problems, stress disorders, or just wants to feel better. And we, we extend the opportunity for everyone to have a chance to experience what so many of us are with, uh, with regards to solar size. So again, thank you very much. Have a great weekend. Thanks for being part of the family.